For a while there, it looked like the Warriors' season was coming to an unexpected end. They got down by 17 points in the first half before storming back to win Game 6, 115-86. to Logan, were you a little nervous there for a little while? Did you think that the Warriors were about to be eliminated? There was no nerves in my body. However, it did seem like we were going to have an earlier offseason than we anticipated. <laughs> um, it was It was – to come out like that to be down 17 points is pretty embarrassing when you think about it. If they were to lose this game, that would have been really, really, really bad. And um, a lot of legacies were on the line in that first quarter. So it, it it is, I guess it's reassuring for them that they can win a game like that. But, you know, they have to take care of business in Houston. I think Steve Kerr said it best. Obviously, the Rockets knew that they'd be on their home court for Game 7, so they entered Game 6 feeling pretty good, like they had one in the bag. Here's exactly what Steve had to say about the way the Rockets entered the game. Um, you could tell Houston could, uh, they could see it. They could see the finals right here. And uh, we kind of thought they would come out hot because this was a little bit of a free swing for them. You know, um, Game 6 on the road. They know they got game seven in their back pocket at home. Uh, so they came out loose. Uh, I thought they would shoot 53s tonight. They got 39, uh, but it seemed like 50 to me early in the, in the game, and that's where it was heading. Um, but I think uh, once we settled down defensively and started uh, staying with people and not, not making mistakes in transition, um, then we wore them down a little bit. Then the Warriors did what they tend to do in the third quarter. They came out explosively, and they largely had Clay Thompson to thank for that. He finished with nine three-pointers. Um, what did you see out of Clay tonight, and how much did he affect the game for the Warriors? Clay was great. You know, Clay he he's been he's been up and down in this series, mostly down, and uh, it was good to see him do this. And uh, it seems like his he's been amazing in his last two uh, Western Conference Finals game sixes. You, you remember that time in Oklahoma City again when the season was on the brink. They were down three. Two when he scores 41 points, it's 11 threes, and they win the game. He did the same thing tonight. When they needed him the most, he he came to work, and I think that um, that just shows what kind of guy Clay is, and that shows you know what he means to this team, especially when the Warriors are against the ropes. Definitely, and uh, Steve Kerr has play, has praised uh, Clay Thompson all season for being really calm and collected and cool, like a machine. He says, and Clay Thompson came through when the Warriors needed him the most. Clay actually said that it wasn't always that way. Here's what he had to say. I was not always like this. You know, I, uh, I used to be so hard on myself, especially early in my career. I remember one time actually losing a game against the Nuggets and just leaving the arena in my uniform. I was so mad. But uh, um, I've learned as I get older, if you play with passion, you play hard, and you leave the game saying, you know, I gave everything I had in, that, in, that, in those 48 minutes, you can live with the result. So now come Monday, there's going to be a decisive Game 7. Everything's on the line. The Warriors are going to be on the Rockets' home court. It's going to be an insane environment. It's going to be tough for them to pull off a win over there. But obviously, Chris Paul's status remains questionable. Um, do you think that the Warriors are going to be able to pull this off? I mean, I think they can. It remains to be, it remains to be seen if they will. I mean, if anything has told us you know, throughout the season, it's that they have been consistently inconsistent. And when they get a big win, they usually follow it up with a dud. I'm not saying that that's going to happen on Monday night, but it just suggests that happens. Uh, one thing that they do have going for them is that Chris Paul is either going to be out or he's going to be really, really hindered with that hamstring. And I think that, you know, that might be good enough to be able to push them over the top. It's on them to kind of figure that out, though. All right. For Logan Murdoch and Melissa Rowland, thanks for watching.